good morning all, welcome to another video and today it's another first impressions. I've been particularly excited about this one uh, since I found out it was available and I'd never really heard much about the company before. I'd seen a few products sort of featured in Shave of the Day photos on groups like the Shaving Station, PG, UK, Wet Shaving Society and so on and so forth and it kind of piqued my interest. I thought oh, they, they look really well presented and I thought that. Oh, have a little look. So I had a little look around at some of the scents and this sounded particularly inviting. Anyway, didn't sort of go much beyond that other than just sort of checking out what people thought of it and uh, just sort of getting a bit of an impression of the company as a whole. And then I kind of had a shopping trip to Debenhams. Didn't actually buy any product in question. Um, which was uh, Dior's Eau Sauvage, um, but I knew it's something I wanted. Um, long story short, Christmas coming up, wanted to give the wife some idea of what to get, so I sort of put that on the list. And then I found out that, uh, that this company, Extro, they had made a cream and splash that were inspired by Eau Sauvage. Uh, or oh, sausage, as uh, many people like to call it, and uh, there were some fantastic edits of the uh, the posters where people put an S over the V, and uh, it made it oh sausage. Anyway, so yeah, so I saw that uh, Stuart was stocking this one, oh Salvaggio, from uh, from Extra, with the matching splash. There we go. Now. I'd fallen in love with the scent of Eau Sauvage as soon as I'd smelled it and I thought to myself if I can get a cream and splash that come remotely close to the uh, the proper, the, the real deal Eau Sauvage then, uh, then someone's onto a bloody good thing. So I thought you know what, I've, it's been a good few months since I purchased anything shaving related because I was on a bit of a self-imposed purchasing sabbatical but this one I had to have as well as a couple of other things um, but this one is the one that broke the camel's back so to speak I bought I'm, I broke my sabbatical on the strength of this product so oh, oh salvaggio I hope my Italian is uh, acceptable Donato um, please let me know um, it's Donato's, the gentleman who runs this company, makes these uh, fantastic looking, fantastic scented creams. There we go, that's the cream with a little extra impression in there. It's a heavy glass jar by the way, chaps and ladies. And uh, yeah, it, it screams quality. The lid, it's like a, a double walled lid with a lining. And the, the, the label itself looks fantastic. It's, exceptionally well presented, like I say, heavy glass jar with uh, everything you need to know in Italian, of course. Um, you can get 150 mils of cream in the product and you get the, a comprehensive ingredients list on this side. Everything you need to know. And it's an artisan shaving soap, it's 100% vegetable with jojoba oil and vitamins A, C, E and B2. And uh, what more? Do you need to know? Well, you need to know that it's O Salvaggio. You need to know that it's O Sauvage inspired. I don't know anything about the performance other than the people who've used it have said it's great. That obviously is subjective. Everyone finds different qualities appealing. Um, but we'll find out my thoughts ever so shortly. Now the splash, let's cover that quickly. It is, it quite clearly states it's an EDT and a, and a splash uh, in one, so it's uh, fairly well scented. And again, there's a an ingredients list, so denatured alcohol, water, perfume, etc., etc. There is a little bit of menthol in there, which uh, appeals greatly. And it does say distribute a fair amount of product on face and apply gently on your skin. I like the fact that it says fair amount because I do like to smell good. And this, this really does capture the essence of Eau Sauvage. There's a strong citrusy hit up from floral notes. It's brilliant, there's amber in there, there's all sorts going on. But to give you an idea of exactly what is in, in the scent, 
Let's go with uh, what the good man says himself. It opens with amber, citrus and woody notes with a heart of amber rounded off with patchouli and musk. Classic. Now, I obviously got the citrus notes straight away and uh, it is a phenomenal scent. Ladies and gents, if you've not had the pleasure of Eau Sauvage or Eau Sauvageo in any way, shape or form, you need to check them out for the scent alone because it is phenomenal. Ignore the fact that Johnny Depp advertises a Dior fragrance. Ignore the fact that people made a joke of it and they called it Eau Sausage. That pales into insignificance to the wonders of this scent. It is phenomenal. Um, it's right up there with my favourite scents, if not one of. Uh, I'm a huge boss fan for Donkey's Years and a huge fan of Issy Miyake, uh, Lode Issy. This is right up there because I love the woody notes, I love the, the citrus notes, the muskiness, it is phenomenal. Anyway, scent, we I think we know, I love the scent already. Let's find out about the performance. So the rest of the shave today is going to consist of the hot towel, which I've already done. We're going to be using the Mercure Future with a Supermax blade. Now, I've never been a big fan of Supermax, but I'm giving them a try in the future. Uh, this will be day three on this blade, and it's uh, it's doing all right so far, so I'm going to be fair to it and give it another few cracks of the whip. Uh, the brush is going to be my default for new products. It's going to be the Razor Up Monster Synthetic because it's consistent. Um, that way I can, I can get the water just right and I'm not relying on sort of getting it spot on with a badger or a ball which could soak up the lather, could soak up excess water and I might not get it quite right. So synthetics is the order of the day for new products. So let's get cracking. I'm going to load with dry brush. No, sorry, I'm just going to dip the tips ever slightly. And it's a fairly, it's a fairly hard cream as creams go. Oh, that scent is cracking. Oh, Donato, this is a phenomenal scent. But when I say phenomenal, I mean phenomenal. You, sir, are a. You make, you make wonderful scent. This is the first product of yours I've tried. Um, purchased, by the way, from Shaving Station, gents, if you uh, are not aware. Stuart Shaving Station stocks all the uh, all the goodies that you could ever want. And uh, Extra is the latest in the line of bits and pieces. Oh, that scent. I love the fact that it's in a glass jar. I feel like I've got something substantial in my hand. I know it's only a small thing and you could drop it and it could crack, but the fact that it's offered in a glass jar is a cracking thing to me. Oh, that is beautiful. Anyway, off to the... So, like I say, we've got a reasonable load in there. I've just put a few drops of water on. And then we're going to build on the face. Now, historically, I was predominantly a bowl ladderer. But, uh, and keeping a track in, in my spreadsheet of everything that I do. And recently my face leathering has overtaken my bowl. That scent is phenomenal. It's faithful to the original, very faithful. And the lather that I'm building looks nice and thick and creamy. Just 
Sense strength is medium, but it's a faithful scent. And it was a reasonable load, and I've got stacks of leather. I've still got to add more water to it as well, because it's still quite thick. No, it's still very, very thick. I think I uh, may have loaded too much up, fr up front. So a lighter load means the product will go very, very far. And it worked extremely good value. Uh, it's $14.99 for the cream. Uh, it's 12, I want to say 12 pounds something for the splash. So it's extremely well priced. Particularly when you consider you get 150 mils of the cream and uh, what have we got here, 125 mil of the splash. Very well priced. So far worth it for the scent alone. There, yeah, I'm happy with that. Got stacks left in here. I'd like to point out I've got uh, two days worth of growth and lather everywhere. Typical. Lovely scent, absolutely phenomenal. So, when I say lather everywhere, I mean lather everywhere. It's, it's gone everywhere. So, <clears throat> just clear the lips because I don't want to be tasting it as fantastic as it smells. We're going to start with the future on four and let's see how it goes. Not that. Fantastic. Plenty of cushion. And glide is good. Yeah, no, no complaints. That scent though is stunning. Absolutely stunning. That alone, that that's residual slickness is good too. Even though I'm obviously wiping off with a towel, there's still some slickness left. That feels good. The scent is absolutely stunning. Um, we're talking top-notch scent profile there. Um, that, that's right at the top. Um, my current favourite scent in a soap is uh, 1805 from True Fit and Hill um, because it's 
very much along the lines of a load EC by Isimiyaki. And this is right up that this is this is sitting on the top shelf, uh, occupying the number one spot with 1805 in terms of scent. <coughs> and that, I'll be genuinely truthful, did not think would happen. I'm just adding a little extra water to my face, just to thin the lather out a little. Just to change it up a little, change the variables around, just to see if it's any, any better, any worse. I could, I could bathe in this stuff. If there was a body soap in the same scent, oh, you'd be beating the ladies off with a stick. You really would. Um, it's, it's, it's a stunning, stunning scent. Now. We're going to drop the razor down to a two for the second pass. So I always like to do a four two two. It agrees with my skin. Now I could keep banging on about this scent all day. It's fantastic. The performance is good too. No issues so far. Absolutely wonderful. The little extra moisture has helped slightly. Adds a little bit more glide. Um, so I'm going to go for next time I use this. I'm going to be putting less soap in the brush. Touch more water. Should be spot on. Wow, yeah, that little extra water made a big difference. Added 20% more glide, something like that. I know it's a difficult one to quantify in terms of percentages, but just how it feels, it's like 20% better. Um, non scientific, don't take any. Uh, any umbrage with my figures, but it's just a, a, a rough estimation. But it does feel better when it's wetter. So, with that in mind, I've done the same for the third pass. I'm going to be sad to finish this pass because the scent is phenomenal. Just take the loaded brush around with me for the rest of the day, sniff it. Look a little bit odd because I'm going uh, shopping in a bit. Uh, yeah, I might get a few funny looks. Oh. Yeah, yeah that, that's incredible. Incredible. So, against the grain, same same settings, part, uh, setting two. Yeah, spot on.
Perfect. And there we go. So. So apart from my one trouble spot, it's down here. Um, and I can't fault this shave in any way, shape or form. The scent, as I've already said a thousand times today, uh, is stunning. Glide, really, really good. I say benefits from a little bit more water. Um, I think my first pass is with lather was a little bit on the dry side. Cushion, can't fault it at all. Um, I've never taken a Supermax blade beyond two days of shaving, and that's three passes every day. Um, this was day three, and with the quality soap such as this, it's done a good job. Like I said, got my little trouble spot there that's always a problem. Um, but it's just a tiny weeper. Uh, post shave remains to be seen, um, but we're using the products as a pair with a splash now. Um, there is in production, I believe, coming a post shave balm. Um, I know there are some already in existence, um, which Stuart is ordering uh, in the not too distant future. Um, oh, oh, Salvaggio isn't one of them yet. Um, from what I could gather from what Donato was saying on the post in the Shaving Station group the other day. But it is coming, and when it does, I'll be grabbing it um, because a, a scent such as this, I have to have everything. It is great. So, the splash. The splash. Lovely present presentation again. Glass bottle chaps um, with screw on lid and a flow restrictor. And it says, as, as I said earlier, distribute a fair amount. How much is a fair amount? Well, I love this. I could swim in the lot. Um, but in the interest of everyone around me who might not like the scent, and uh, if they don't, they need their heads checking. Oh. I'm going to put a reasonable amount. That's a good flow restriction. Citrus up front. Very strong. The lemon, the lemon is phenomenal up front. A little bit of the alcohol burn, touch of the menthol. That scent, oh, beautiful. Now, this is a scent I know that does change, um, assuming it follows faithfully to the original as it kind of mellows in. Obviously the top notes kind of wane and your mid and bass notes come to the fore. I'm still getting the citrus. And later on in the day, I suspect the musky notes will become prominent. And that's what I love about Eau Sauvage. And I dare say, will happen here. So, yeah. First impressions of, let me get the pair. The Ar Salvaggio screen from Extra and the Splash. Fantastic product. Um, I say this is day one. Um, obviously, the scent is something that I picked up on right out of the box. Um, performance was something I had to kind of test and get used to. But as we've seen, um, plenty of glide is on offer, plenty of cushion on offer. Post shave, uh, I will I will cover that later in the week um, because I like to use the pair today. Uh, so th this may hide something that this offers. It may improve it. It may negate some bits. Um, but in the week, uh, I will record my findings and let you know in the final thoughts uh, next weekend as to the post shave. But initial impressions are fantastic. Uh, I think what we've got here is another rabbit hole in which I'm going to put my feet and uh, willingly fall all the way down um, because this performs really well. 
the scent on this is stunning and if the scents on these are amazing I suspect the others will be too. Um, it was actually Mer a post from Mervyn Cadman that kind of really kind of piqued my interest in the scents. Um, he posted up one, uh, I forget which one it was, I want to say it was tobacco. Um, he paired it with, uh, with a an aftershave, I can't bloody remember the name of, uh, I've got a bottle of it in the cupboard somewhere. Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Man. This one, this one right here, that one, if you're not familiar. Um, clearly running out, I need some more. Um, but he said it's fantastic with that. Um, so I'm going to have to try that one as well. Oh, and the, the notes are changing and the aftershave. Yeah, like I say, the citrus is still there, but the other, the other notes, let's just, yeah, just to waft it around. I know. Beautiful. So, initial impressions, first thoughts, the uh, the inaugural use of our Salvaggio is 100% positive. I have no faults whatsoever. I've got a scent that I absolutely adore. I've got performance that is as good as the best I've used. And I've got presentation and packaging that is, I have to say, spot on. I've got products that cost a lot more than this cream that come in packaging that is not even half as good. Uh, I, I love the glass jar. It adds an element of class. It adds that little bit of kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? It emphasizes the quality of the product within um, because you're getting something substantial and it's very well priced. Um, like I say, $14.99. About £12.99 ish. I paid under £28 for the pair, put it that way. Um, I cannot fault it. Um, Stuart, you've done a fantastic thing in getting these into stock, and I will be buying more. And Donato, thank you for making something so wonderful. Um, I'll be using more, like I say, in the week, and I'll get my final thoughts later on. So, ladies and gents, uh, from wherever you're hailing in the world today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you found it informative, I appreciate you Let me know if there's something you want to know um, or you feel there's something I can do better. Again, I'd like to know. Uh, any questions on the soap or the splash, stick them in the comments section right down there and I will answer them for you to the best of my ability. So again, chaps and ladies, thank you for watching. This has been a Salvaggio from Extra. I have been Nick, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.